Imagine the vastness of Africa and think there are less than 20,000 lions. 70 years ago, we had about 400,000. We lost 95% of the lion population in Africa in one generation. That's why both entities were created in the ecosystem where we live, which is a 283,000 acres Masai reservation between Savo and Amboseli National Park. 90% of the plains game of Amboseli need Masai land to survive. If you were a Masai and your life was depending on livestock, why would you tolerate lions predating it? Why would you tolerate zebra and wildebeest competing for the grass? So what we have been pioneer of is changing the perception and the reality of the Maasai community in seeing that their natural resources are their best asset. Because if they protect them, they will have economic benefits. And so with the trust, we started through the protection of these natural resources that goes from forest to wildlife to uh, wetlands to create programs that were definitely aimed at changing the quality of life of the Maasai community. The conservation that I'm doing is benefiting my people. It's benefiting me personally, benefiting my family, and uh, I've seen different programs that are benefiting my, uh, our people. I'm one of the 135 community rangers working for Masai Wilderness Conservation Trust. The area that we are covering, the Kuku Group Ranch, is an area that where there's wildlife, there's livestock, there's people, there's human and wildlife conflict. We collect that on wildlife sightings, illegal activity that happen on the ground, uh, deforestation. Uh, the other thing is about anti-poaching. We conduct ambushes, we have observation posts so that we intercept. To the community is important to say, for example, we have lion hunting. We stop them from hunting the lions and we tell them the importance. Our role as Timber Scout team is to try to mitigate uh, human wildlife conflict caused by the lion. When a lion attacks the, the livestock, the, the, the community must respond by trying to retaliate. And that's where we come between the wildlife, the, the lions and the community. We have to monitor the lions, maybe with using the website, by following the attacks and uh, informing the community if only they are in a dangerous area for grazing. Where the conservation fee that visitor to the Campia Kanzi pay is earmarked for a compensation program called Wildlife Pays. We compensate any livestock killed by any wildlife. As a result, our lion population is thriving. Not just that, but leopard, cheetah, hyenas, wild dog. <laughs> We empower the women of Kuku through women groups. We have uh, 13 women groups. The major projects that we undertake are the grass seed banks. We have three grass seed banks in Kuku Group Branch. The women are able to benefit through the sale of hay and also the grass seeds. And uh, the project is not only benefiting the women, but also benefiting the entire community because through the project, we are able to restore back our land and bring in more grass for our livestock. Kabla maradi hii kuja hapa, jambo la kwanza kwa kulikuwa na ukame mno, hakukua kuna ota chochote. Jambo la kwanza tunafuna mbegu, ambaye tunauza, na tunapata pia pesa, pitia hiyo mbegu. The other project that we do is the bead work for sale both locally and internationally and our role as the trust is to train the women improving their quality day in day out and also coming out with more designs so that they can fit into the market. We also have the hippo rollers. 
uh, Hiporola is an improved de device that the women can use to fetch water. They are able to fetch 90 liters of water once as compared to the 20 liters that they used to fetch at once. And also the girl is able to get enough time for her studies. She no longer comes back from school and go fetch water because there is already enough water in the home. <laughs> This project it is well received by the community. Together we are sensitizing the community, especially the women, to embrace this beekeeping, which will benefit themselves through finance and also food. In the health program, we approach the health issues holistically. It is the only organization that has employed a medical doctor, two clinical officers, one nurse, a, lab a laboratory technologist, and 12 staff who support us. Most of the problems that we are facing are due to complex Maasai culture, uh, coupled with the low literacy levels and you know poor understanding of the the interactions of habits and illnesses uh, and how they come about. MWCT is uh, helping or supporting 26 schools in the entire Kuku group branch. Employed six to one teachers, which are teaching nearly 9,000 people around the Kuku group branch. Teaching science, English, Kiswahili, mathematics and social study. We started by two schools and now we have 26 schools and we are yet to add more. Now we can see the impact of conservation as related to uh, education. You want to make sure that your visit to Africa is actually protecting what you're visiting. You want to make a positive impact. The revolution that we created in tourism and in Mosailand, we are saying, as a tourist, you should pay a tax, a conservation fee, and you will play a positive role because for every night you spend at Kampia Kanzi, $116 conservation fee is earmarked for Maasai Wilderness Conservation Trust. $115 compensate the Maasai for their livestock losses so that predators are protected and our lion population is thriving. And $1 offset our carbon footprint. So Maasai Wilderness Conservation Trust has created a RED carbon project. RED stands for reduction of emission of deforestation and degradation of forests. And Kampia Kanzi is carbon neutral. We are offsetting our carbon footprint towards the Chulu carbon project. The Chulu Trade Plus project is a multi-partner initiative mitigating climate change. The impact of the Red Plus project is the conservation of the, of the Chulus. The cloud forest of the Chulu Hills is very, very unique. Only 3% of all the forests in the world are actually cloud forests. And the Chulu Hills forest crops water out of clouds through condensation. That water is feeding 7 million people in Kenya. And it's really very meaningful and we want to do more. So where I see the future going is that the Maasai are one of the 43 tribes of Kenya who are still very embedded in their culture. If we can protect their land, and if we can make sure that the natural resources of their land are creating sustainable economic benefit, here you have it, is the equation to make sure that both the Maasai and their wildlife heritage are going to be protected for the generations to come.